This is the first series to be presented by... Cast it! Presented by animals! Look out! Farm animals, please! Farm animals only! We're tired of appearing in documentaries... Hey! In which we look ridiculous! Ready? Because the show is about to begin! Don't move! Give us a big ollie ollie! <laughs> ollie ollie -hoo! Welcome to the show. We're your friends of two nibbles. We like to say hello. We can tell you things that every human cop should know. It's a crazy to me television show. There are two nibbles of every shape and size for you to see. From the sky to the savannah, from the bottom of the sea. All of them have fascinating stories. You'll agree. Every two nibble comes with a guarantee. Everyone, we're on the air! Harley! Camera! Action! Roll VT! Please, do not beat the bear! Curtain's going up! The director's in his chair! It's showtime, folks! Say a little prayer! Welcome to the TV viewers, welcome to the show! We're your friends, the two <laughs> nibbles, would like to say hello! We can tell you things that every human comes to know! It's the crazy to be television show! Howdy, howdy, you! The Toonimals Dog Show is about to start, and we've no dog to show! I'm the Hegla, you mum Where will I get a dog? It's not like they fall out of the sky. <laughs> Who's that? Hey, what a coincidence! Why, I oughta... What's huh? going on? <laughs> hmm. Weird, but you'll do. I'll do anything, but I'm no good at nothing, and that's why my owners threw me out. You'll need a bath. You could do with a good scrubbing yourself. You smell like garbage. I'm Ollie from Toonables, and you're going to be our star. You're going to take part in a dog show. Hey, come on. They don't want ugly old dogs like me. I'm not a pedigree. I'm a mongrel. This fellow's becoming a drag. We're here, and there's the dog show. Quiet. Darn right. You guys always leave me without anything to say. Hey, the light's changing. Let's go, Mutsi. Hey! Ah. Ah. At this rate, we're gonna be late! Ah. Ah. Oh, yeah, if we ever get there. Ali, you, Ali! Having technical problems? The stoplight! Right! Okay, all set! No street furniture stands in my way! You don't say! What a surprise! Uh, got an extra set of teeth on you, Ollie? I got a strange oyster to stick my teeth into a juicy carrot. Ah, hold it, Bob. I, my friends, am Cerberus. I'm the dog from ancient Greek mythology who guarded the entrance to hell. And now I... We! we. All right, we are dog show security. Well, I'm Mutsy. And this hey, are you trying to get smart with us, flea bag? Well, you got just three bucks to state your breed and pedigree, Buster. I have absolutely nothing to add to that. Hey, come on, I'm just a mutt. I ain't got no pedigree or nothing. We just want to go inside, guys. Let's not lose our heads. Heads? My mistake. <laughs> you wouldn't hit a poor little... Ah! You see, I told you I was no good for anything. We're not giving up. We'll just find another way in. Hey! This is a great idea. Shut up! Mm. Let's go and register, Mutsi. What are you doing? I'm giving the whole area a good sniffing. This way, I can pick up the scent of my dog colleagues and that of other animals. You see, we dogs have a highly developed sense of smell. Yes, sir. Well, it's got to be better than your eyesight. Oh, ah, it's a dog quake. Let me flee for himself. Ah, quiet Whoa. down, Bug Brain. We got to find out what happened. I do it, but I... But I got an appointment with my manicurist, so you had better check it out, Fleezy, and good luck. Come back! What am I supposed to do? When there's work to be done, fleas are always fleas. Wow! Must be some kind of dog show. There's so many homes to choose from. A parasite's paradise. So 
know we won't enter you for the tracking section. Guess I'll have to take control. What are you doing, Mutsy? But we always mark our territory with urine. I thought you'd know that. Not live on air. This isn't for your convenience. Let's have no canine confusion. Remember, good manners make his model animals. You're on, Christopher. Welcome, human cubs. The dog's a man's best friend. Also, they always say... Uh, I'll be your friend, my little porky kin. But is man the dog's uh, best friend? Let's find out the answer with Hunger and Punker. He's my little pork pie, but he's so terribly shy. Oh, Christopher, my little slice of bacon! This is what I get for being born in the Neolithic age. It's no picnic for us mollusks. <laughs> You're quite right, of course, Snail. In the Neolithic age, thousands of years ago, primitive humans had to chase their food. Although at times, the food chased them instead. You woke me up when I was trying to hibernate. It took me three days just to drop off. Why is it that when you humans go clubbing, you have to wake everyone up? Ah! Hello, primitive man. Mm. Don't mind me, fellas. I'm a dog, and I'm going to be your best friend. Oh, God, you delighted. Oh! <laughs> 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 That is how man discovered that the dog could help him to hunt. Ooga Vengeance! Now, do you think that was very nice of you, treating your new friend like that? Well... Ah, good joke, Punker. I've got joke good. <laughs> Please don't imitate this behavior at home. The dog is a loyal and trusted friend and should be treated with respect and consideration. That's all from Good Manners Model Animals. All of you, little ones. Now then, today... All of you, Polo! An energy drink. How interesting. Perhaps it's the source of Brawny's great strength. <laughs> wow, that stuff's really strong. Well, now, let's continue with dogs. Now, dogs are mammals of the canine variety who enjoy eating meat. Oh, I could have told you that, and I would have done if this shih tzu hadn't confused me with a bone. Get down, pup. Go fetch somebody else. Polo, oh, I've got a problem. People tease me for not being a pedigree or a purebred dog, so just what are all the breeds of dog? You'll see, Mutsy. There are dogs in just about every place in the world you can think of. There are more than 150 breeds that man has created by crossbreeding. We just take a dog and mix it up a little. Hey, like hold on! So. A nut like this! And now to cross it with another. Hmm. Ah, Chihuahua! And now we shake it up. And... Hey! So what am I now, big boy? A Saint Chihuahua dog? And this series says it respects animals. Watch your step, big head. I'm pumped up. Hmm. What a letdown. Who would have thought the drink would wear off so fast? I feel whoa, deflated. Whoa, whoa. Here's today's interactive question. Which animal is the ancestor of the domestic dog? Is it A, Come the wolf? Come here, my little sheep. I'm a sheep dog. Or is it B, the hyena? Hee-hee, <laughs> good doggy. Woof, woof. Ha-ha. <laughs> Hee-hee, <laughs> not dog. Hee-hee, <laughs> Or C, hyena. the fox. See what box? What does he mean? The answer's at the end of this episode. The first round is ability. Let's see what skills you have to show us, Mutsy. Well, I can, uh, bark. Ow, ow, ow. I'll just put down entertainment. Ah! How you doing? I could put you into orbit. And while I'm here, I'd like to send a special greeting to Laika, the first doggy astronaut. And there she is! But she seems to be a bit busy at the moment. I'm gonna make a super dog out of you, Mutsy! I'm yeah, ooh. smashed super dog! I'll have to revise my flight plan. We'll start by testing your abilities as a guide dog for the disabled. Golden Retrievers are particularly good at this job and know how to look after their human charges. There's a good boy. Now it's your turn. Hi. Uh, yeah. I'm a guide dog. Dog and owner are inseparable and would be lost without each other. I got a nasty feeling that I'm about to lose my job. Well, you lost your human. 
Now let's see how you do on rescue missions, Mutsi. The Saint Bernard is well known for rescuing people in great danger. Hmm? <laughs> Your turn, Mutsi. There. I don't know what went wrong. This turpentine was fresh today. Some dogs are used in the military to defend airfields or to act as guides. They even go on dangerous missions. Your turn, Mutsy. Can somebody turn on a light? Do they expect the dog to work in the dark in the munitions depot? Uh-oh. Munitions? <laughs> oh, brother. I told you I'm good for nothing. Let's cool things down and see how you do as a beast of burden. Siberian Huskies have been used by humans for a long time. Your turn, Mutsi. Hey, this doesn't weigh a thing. This is the job for me, Brawny. Be careful not to go downhill too fast. Hey, hey, told you. Maybe you do better as a house dog. The Doberman and the German Shepherd are valued for their ferocity. Aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Nein, you're as fierce as Wiener Schnitzel. We we'll see about that, you sauerkraut. No thief could get past these guys. Uh, maybe they don't see that guy. Ah, uh, hey! Let's see, you get him. Uh, half. Maybe you were born to be a god. Dog. Hey, buddy, you dropped this. Uh. <laughs> Ready, Brawny, where's the thief? Hopeless. Just hopeless. That mutsy would lower anybody's morale. Okay, I'm ready, Ollie. I wouldn't be so sure. The special skills round is about to start. Contestant number one to your position, please. There's no more time. Come on. In this round, the dog has to find a bomb. Our first contestant, Mr. Rottweiler. What a buffoon! <laughs> 29 points, and next... Hi! Mr. Mutsy! <laughs> I'm on the case, or rather, the cases are on me! That joke really bombed! Here, have this! Thanks, pal! Here's your bomb back, Mr. Judge! Could I do that over? Why'd you do this time, Fleazy? I didn't do a thing. The dog just exploded. Hey, maybe it's a new kind of flea repellent. What's wrong with a flea comb? I'm useless. Nonsense. Dogs are highly intelligent. You just need fresh air and a good lunch to get your strength back. Now come out from behind there and fix some food, Barely. You're real smart, Ollie. How did you know it was me behind here? I barely knew it myself, and I'm guessing I'm the one who's behind here. Wow, Mr. Barely, these five bone restaurants really are an impressive sight. Me envenu, do you gentlemen wish a table? Heck no! Ooh. We want food, boy, not some table. Them's for termites, what a dumb waiter. This place is going down ill. So what would you like to eat? Food, of course, you dumb waiter. <laughs> that joke just gets better and better. Yes, food, and I'm in charge of food. Barely the cooking bear. Now, where'd that waiter go? He's always running out when you need him. Well, I guess it don't really matter. That bear has to go. This smells like dog food. Then, of course, it would, as it's meant for doggies. Dogs like bones, and it don't matter how big they are, as long as they can have a good old chew on it. They don't have to swallow it, you see? Just give it a munch. Yeah, but you can have too much of a good thing, you know. Dogs also like vegetables, but they prefer them to be cooked, not raw, so they can eat them with their meat. At last, a nice juicy carrot. I wish I could get this craving out of my head. Now, some dogs prefer to eat Processed foods. These have been prepared by humans. Well, that's the food wrapped up for another episode. Hmm? Hey, where'd he go? Now that's just plain bad manners, leaving the table without permission. What kind of restaurant is this anyway, where you have to bring your own food? The waiters here are a bunch of incontinents, and I'm going to complain to the director. I'm a professional. I'm not used to working with amateurs. All they do is get in your way. Well, if they think they can walk over barely, they're wrong. <laughs> Where are we now? Oh no! Flea collars, now we're gonna get it in the neck! Back vile collar, don't come near us! The entertainment round! 
Mama Kangaroo will show you a few tricks. It's very important that all dogs learn to behave properly, and so it's best to teach them while they're still puppies. Fall in! A dog must always know who's the master, so you must always speak to them with absolute authority. Be firm! <laughs> <laughs> different dogs have different skills. For example, this is a hunting dog. And he's trained to stand as still as a stone statue when he discovers his prey. That is a statue, Mama Kangaroo. To continue, other dogs are trained to protect objects or people. And whatever they protect, they can be very reluctant to give up. OK, Raga, my house secret doggy dog. OK, let me in. <laughs> but whatever they're training, all dogs should obey simple orders. All right, now sit. No sit, you mongrels! Are you pups deaf? <laughs> we'll continue this some other time! <laughs> Next round, fetching the newspaper. First up, Mr Dalmatian. Yeah. Perfect, Mr Dalmatian! Um. Mutsy? Mutsy? Mutsy, what are you doing? What are you, where are you going? Now let's see. Man's best friend, three letters. This crossword's pretty tough. I don't think Mutsy really understands this round. Now carrying the slippers to your master. First up, Scott the Terrier. Excellent, 27 points. Your turn, Mutsy. <laughs> now that's what I call putting your foot in it. Come on, Mutsy, don't be like that. You can do it. Hey, who are you talking to? I thought this was you. Ah, well, if you were a dog, you wouldn't have confused us. We know each other and our owners by smell. Amazing! <laughs> Talking of smell, maybe it's time you had a bath. A bath? Oh, no, it goes against all my principles. Uh, 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 oh, treading water, huh? Do you need a little shove? Now we're moving. Uh, how do you stop this thing? A flying dog, you don't see that very often. And now, on to the property market. Today, we have three desirable properties for the discerning flea looking for a new home. Roll video! Our first residence is this beautiful high-rise Afghan. Exotic, cozy, and with all the amenities. Perfect for the flea who's going places. But if you're looking for something a little more modest, this old English sheepdog offers a haven of peace and tranquility away from the bustle of the city. An ideal location for the flea who wants to get away from it all. Finally, this compact bijou chihuahua, which, though small, does have enough room to swing a cat. We've dogs for everyone and you won't get fleeced. Ay! What's going on? Another dog quake? When will people learn to let sleeping dogs lie? It's a canine catastrophe! Ah! <laughs> you! Washing you once a month is more than enough. Uh -huh. Turn it off, barely! I got problems of my own, Ollie. There's water coming out of this telephone and... Ah! Ah! Got it! And would you believe it? After all that, they have gone and hung up! How rude. And now? But Ollie, my teeth are really clean. We have to avoid plaque. Wow. And with 42 teeth, it'd cost you a fortune at the dentist. Oh. And it's important to keep the ears clean. Hey, it's a jungle in there. We'll have to cut some hair to tidy up. <laughs> Look out, Mutsy! You forgot to open the door. Oh, did this. They've made a proper mess of your shaggy coat, haven't they, love? Well, we'll just have to dry this all as best we can, and then we'll have to see what we can do with you. It's a canine hurricane! This is nothing. Just wait until they get the brushes out. <gasps> this wind is so hot. What is he, a pooch or a camel? Uh, I can't hold on! Now then, love, this is the latest style. It's the Greyhound number one, very fashionable. With short hair like this, a Greyhound can concentrate on chasing rabbits. But I'm not a rabbit, I tell ya! You eat one carrot and you get a name for life! But if you like long hair, you might want to go for a curl. It gives you an air of authenticity. Oh. Hey, that looks like the dog who thought I was a bone earlier in the show. <laughs> hey, do you think he's following me? Ow!
So what do you think? A snarl? Why is that? I think that means he doesn't like it at all. What about now, Matsy? Guess he hates it. Some clients are so picky. Oh, and what does that mean? That's easy. When a dog stares you in the eye and growls menacingly, it means that he's added up to the back teeth or something similar, and it's just about to attack you, so you should never attack! Hair gel and shampoo! Oh. Now go easy, Mutsy! Keep your hair on! Final round, the walk. First up, the Picardies, an adorable little dog whose ancestors go right back to the time when they were called sleeve dogs, raised by Chinese emperors to protect their hands from the cold. Grass sleeve doggy. He might have had the common dish I'd say to warm his hands off. And a beautiful poodle. Some say owners spend so much time with their dogs they can end up looking like them. There are always exceptions, of course. Next to go is Mutsy. How y'all doing? You got it now, Mutsy! Me and my big beak! So how did I do? Mutsy, nil points. The silver medal goes to Mr. Rockweiler, and the winner of the competition and individual gold medalist is Mr. Doberman! Yeah! <laughs> 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 yeah, boy, I'll be back! <laughs> Yay! Hee hee, dog! Hee hee, winner! Gotcha! <laughs> no, me hyena! Not funny! Well, at least hee hee's safe in here! Hee hee getting carried away! Ah! Hee hee, hey! I made a fool of myself, Ollie. I'm no good for anything. See, I didn't get a single point in that contest. That's okay, Mutsy. For us, you're the best dog in the world. Golly. So, where do you think you'll go now? What are you gonna do? Gee, I don't know. My owners threw me out of the house, so I'm just a tramp, I guess. Well, I'll see you around, Ollie. It's been great hanging around with you. Goodbye. We can't end the show like this. Mutsy's a great dog. It's too bad. So many dogs like him get abandoned by their owners who can't be bothered to look after them. They dump them in the countryside somewhere and leave them to fend for themselves. And it's not easy to survive when you've always been a family pet. Tell it like it is, Ali. What kind of dog you have doesn't matter. The most important thing is they keep you human cubs company. Oh. Ow. Ah, oh. And if you take care of dogs and love them, you'll find you have a friend for life. Hello. Look carefully, Zoo, it's our cousins, the lice. Fantastic, this kid can't be all bad. Look, Ollie, I got a friend. Say hello to Ollie, friend. Hello, Ollie. Aga, Just what Mutsy was made for, companion for a little boy. This could be the start of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> A crazy documentary takes the Toonimals team into the heart of Africa to film the lion, the king of beasts. Or at least that's what I think until I meet Leo, the first lion I've ever met who wears a wig. But he's got bigger problems, with his wife, Mrs. Leo, the very definition of a fierce lioness, and his son trying to dethrone him. We've got a penguin lost in the savannah, a hyena looking for a boyfriend, and a bad-tempered son, making this documentary a real trial by fire. So don't miss it!